What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon playthrough. We're picking up where we left off in the last one. Today, we're going to be going into the hotel in order to see exactly who Lily is meeting that's so important to her. I see her back there. There's a Starmie. There's a Hotel Manager. You can fit absolutely anything inside of a trainer's bag, huh? If it was me, I'd sure like to tuck myself in a bag and tag along on someone's adventure. Look at this beauty sitting right here real quick. Now that's something you don't see every day. Isn't that a Rotom Dex? It shows you lots of details about a Pokemon's distribution if you zoom in on the map, right? Good to know. Oh, Shady. I'm sorry. I, I saw some people who looked like those team skull thugs and I got scared. I was trying to avoid them and then I think I ended up missing my meeting. Oh, but don't worry. It's fine. This is actually where I wanted to be. Will you be going for another one of your trials, Shady? From what I've read, I think the nearest trial site must be the one up on Route 4. So we don't even get to see who she was going to meet. I'm pretty bummed. I left that off on a cliffhanger purposely, and uh, I think I just saw a sticker. I did. Okay. I don't know how I saw that or what, but I did. Welcome. Can I help you? You tell her about the letter and heart scale you found because this is the Corsola girl. Oh, wow. You really found this? Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I got a little excited. You see, there was this rumor that this... that was really popular back when I was a child. If you write a letter to your future self and throw it into the ocean along with your treasure, it was said your dream would come true. So that's what I did. This letter was delivered to me because my dream has come true. I still can't believe it. Thank you so much for bringing this to me here. You can keep the hard scale. I hope good fortune smiles on you too. So we got a hard scale out of all that. That's kind of cool. Not what I was expecting from that. So I can definitely appreciate the, uh, the little bit of, I don't know, uniqueness. It's not typical, oh, this was a lover. This was your past self. That's a really cool idea. Imagine doing that. And I mean, the thing is that she never would have gotten that letter do you remember those trainer tips you see posted here in there, Shady? I usually can't be bothered. Oh, like to go about it your own way, eh? I can totally relate, buddy. So his eyes are glowing. Does that mean I can... Sorry to keep you waiting. It's Roto Lotto time. Here we go. What are we getting? What are we getting? What are we getting? What is this? Experience, hopefully? Hey, look at that. It's an amazing power. Two Roto Experience Points. Roto Experience Points is a power that increases the experience points received after each battle. Wait, so is it, is that this, this, um, what do you call it? That bar that we had before? So if we use this item right now, okay, cool. So that's like the best thing you can get. Well, so far, in my opinion, it's the best thing you can get. Uh, King's out front right now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put uh, Kyrie up front because she was just uh, taking a nap in her bed and she was so cute. So I want to battle with Kyrie for a little bit. We're going to we're going to face this trainer. I don't want to skip every single trainer all the time always. Like I know I've been kind of messing around. I want to get to the story and see what's different in this game, but I do need some experience points so that I don't have a hard time, too hard of a time advancing when the time comes. We have Fomantis. Straight up Fomantis out the gate. Once again, Walter would have just washed you immediately. But it's all good in the hood. I only have what see like for example, I only have one level on this trainer. The good news is though Oh my goodness, Silk Scarf Kyrie is way too strong. Way too strong. As I was gonna say, the good news is, is that we have our experience points boost going, we have the experience share on, which means that everyone's gonna be leveling up. Nikki grows to level 13. I'm surprised, I'm surprised that King didn't level up as well, but I guess we already had him at a decent point in his life. You guys see that bar on the bottom right? That's our experience bar. In case you missed it last time. Uh, obviously the best time to use the Rotom experience would be like right before you're going to do a bunch of trainers, etc. Uh, I just wanted to use it because I wasn't sure if that's exactly what it was going to be. But it was going to be the item and it is the item uh, for sure. You know, these winding routes sometimes have secret little spots that are easy to overlook. Like this one right here. Or this one right here. Oh, battle me. I'm fine with this. I am a collector, which is to say that I collect Pokemon. Do you collect Pokemon? Do you collect Pokemon at home? I wouldn't mind since this is the last, uh, this is the last moon, uh, last game on the 3DS. I wouldn't mind collecting all the Pokemon in this game, like that are at least available. Obviously not all 700 some are available. Uh, I was thinking about doing something kind of crazy and like going back. I think the earliest you can go back is the Game Boy Advance games. Is go back to those games and play them and finish the, like complete their dexes as best I can and then transfer them over, and then transfer it over, and transfer it over all the way through. 
I think that would be a cool little experiment to do on like live streams and stuff. I don't know something you guys would be interested in. Uh, let's see, should an Omu be forgotten with for bite? Absolutely. Um, let's go ahead and let's get rid of Supersonic. It would be really cool. Uh, I think the earliest you can start with is Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, uh, Leaf Green. And then you can transfer those. You need a regular DS, which I don't have. That is true that I don't have one of those. But you need a regular DS, you put it in the bottom cartridge, and then uh, you take your, I believe, Diamond and Pearl. You can transfer them to Diamond and Pearl. How do you transfer from Diamond and Pearl to Black and White? Is it just by normal trading? I think it's by trading. I'm pretty sure it's by trading. And then from Black and White, obviously Black and White, they have Pokebank, which you can go ahead and use to get your Pokemon to X and Y. But you can use Pokemon to get your Pokemon right into Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. So it might be a cool little experiment to do. It's definitely pretty pointless. Uh, the only thing it'll really do is give me a living Dex probably in my Pokebank. Uh, that would be the whole purpose of it. Uh, and it would be like a crazy way to close out this, this chapter of Pokemon. Because this is the final chapter of this handheld error. Era, I should say, not error. Uh, obviously the Switch is considered a handheld, yada yada yada. But you guys, I think you guys get what I'm saying. You're picking up what I'm putting down. Regular Rattata, because this guy is a uh, vacationer. He is a tourist here in Alola. I may have to put a cough drop in my mouth because my my throat is killing me, but I still want to be able to talk. I still want to be able to talk and do the darn thing. And do the darn thing. Kyrie grows to level 17. The rest of my team gains experience points. Scotty, you've been defeated. It has been real. It has been fun, but I can't say it's been real fun. Now, I, I am battling a bunch of these trainers because I had the experience, um, the, the Roto experience, and what better time? If I'm gonna skip some trainers, I might as well only skip them when I don't have the Rotom experience. That makes the most of these battles. We got a regular Meowth as well, the Kanto breed, or the every other breed but Alola breed, rather. Man, I can't even begin to think what they would do with Gen 8. Seven generations of Pokemon. The number of completion. It's so funny that, that I mean, part of like the whole, um, it all comes together. And, like, it's kind of, it's kind of right because like we've had seven generations of Pokemon and it, it's definitely moving on to a new chapter by going to the Switch. It really is. Like there's no way, uh, I mean, I guess you could argue it if you really want to, if you're that guy, but in my mind, it's like, yeah, you're going to like a pretty much a home console now. Obviously it has handheld capabilities, but it's, it's definitely a different era for Pokemon uh, after getting that number of completion. What do we got going on over here? Where am I going right now? Is this trial? I think this is where the trial is. I don't want to, I don't want to fart around too much. I'm pretty sure this is where the trial is and... This is Trailer Park City. Pika. This, is this new? It's like Pikachu hometown. I remember Trailer Parks, but I don't remember this many Pikachu. This is Pikachu Valley. Was this in Sun and Moon? I don't think so. Okay, I see the flag on the map, by the way. We're not supposed to go here. Well, we don't have to go here yet. <laughs> Welcome to Pikachu Valley. That's what the Pikachu are saying anyway. You get this special Pikachu themed present to celebrate your first visit to Pikachu Valley. You can now use a special Pikachu frame to decorate your photos. Decorate photos in your photo album with that and it'll be always be Pikachu Valley in your heart. All right, so that's what we get for coming here. This is pretty cute. Try to become a real Pikachu professor? Do you want to try our Pikachu professor quiz? Sure. There are five questions in total. Get every single one right. Question one, what part of Pikachu's body can tell you whether it's male or female? It's a tail. Question two, what are the particular parts of Pikachu's cheeks called? Um, I'm gonna go with electric sacks. Question three, what do you need to evolve a Pikachu into a Raichu? You need a Thunderstone. How is a shiny Pikachu different from more common specimen? Uh, its coloring is a little bit darker. And last question, Pikachu can evolve from, that's right, Pichu. But who was the first person to discover the existence of Pichu? Wow. Um, I'm gonna go Professor Elm. And that's the end of our quiz. Time to announce the results. Your total correct answer was five out of five. Your true Pikachu master is a little gift to help you celebrate acing the quiz for the first time. We got a Pikachu shirt and a Pikachu cap. I might try that on, but I like my outfit right now. I really do. Can I go back there to the rest of Pikachu Valley? Or no? I guess I can't go over there. I mean, I, there's definitely access. This was not in Sun and Moon, that's for sure. Oh! 
Maybe this is where we can get like special Pikachu. So every time you do this, another Pikachu comes out. So you cannot go inside this trailer. This is just endless Pikachu. That's terrifying. All right, let me talk to him one more time. Did you need something? How many Pikachu are here? I've seen three Pikachu come out so far. So maybe I have to make a certain amount come out. I'm not gonna do that right now. If that is the case, I'm sure it'll be online somewhere, but it's not gonna be on this channel, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna sit there and try to get like 25 Pikachu to come out just to get something special from them. Especially because it's not guaranteed. All right, so we didn't get, we didn't get as many battles as I would have liked with this Rotom experience uh, in, but it's okay. It's okay, we're in front of town now, and I'm pretty sure this town is where we're, we're gonna, they're gonna say, hey, you know where to go for your next trial. We got a cutie fly here. More like cutie bye, am I right? I gotta be, I gotta be. All right, let's go ahead. Let's headbutt this fool. Kyrie used headbutt. Bam! Look at this. Silk Scarf Kyrie is broken. Please put it in Ubers. I cannot play Pokemon until that thing is in Ubers. That's for darn certain. That is for darn certain. Okay, we got berries too. Oh no, there was a Pokemon feeding on the berries. It wasn't even shaking till we touched it, so we got a Crabrawler here. I'm gonna catch this thing, not that we're using it in the party. But I'm gonna catch this for my own, um, my own satisfaction because since it is somewhat of a hard encounter, you have to find a patch of berries with a Pokemon in it. Um, I would prefer to just catch it right now, so that when I talk to that lady again, she's all good. That she's all good. She was asking for a Cabrawler for her, for her newly married husband to make his honeymoon special. And gosh darn it, I want to have it in my decks, or I'll, I'll grab it from my PC, whenever whenever I see her again, if I ever see her again. Gilligan grows level 14. Gilligan, listen, man, I can't wait to use you in battle. I can't wait to just blow things back with a Noivern. Cabrawler. Registered! Why don't you check out what kind of Pokemon it is you caught, pal? Cabrawler has been known to mistake Executor for a coconut tree in climate. The enraged Executor shakes it off and stomps it. I'm not gonna give you a nickname just because you're going in the PC and I'm not really, we're not really too keen on nicknaming every single Pokemon. And we still get the berries going super plus. I really wish lore wise there was only one or two berries here, not three. Cause like that Pokemon was eating something. There's extra berries here. Oh my goodness, there's four. There should be even less cause the Pokemon was feeding on them but it was the opposite effect. And there was more. All right, here we go. You already know, though. I'm talking Pidgeotto. I'm looking like a proto. Look at Dartrix. Hey, Shady. Glad I ran into you. So we can see who's stronger now. I got a Z Power Ring for my Gramps, too, after making it through his grand trial. Having a battle in a place like Paniola Town feels like we're in a real old-fashioned wa Western showdown or something, right? This is so cool. Though, for real honorable cowboys, we've got to make sure our teams are healthy first. All right, so we're battling our rival yet again. We do a lot of rival battles in this game, that's for sure. All right, team, Dartrix and Pikachu, or Dartrix, you ought to all be bursting with energy after eating a pile of my mom's special pancakes. So let's see how, let's show this newbie what Alola's got. I don't know why my tongue is malfunctioning. Maybe if I, maybe if I have a cough drop, my tongue will work better. I don't know, I'm not sure. I might have the opposite effect. All right, how's got four, four Pokemon now? It's crazy, because we're not really that far into the game. I really feel like Sun and Moon's pacing is, um, I don't want to say some of the worst Pokemon pacing, but I don't know. I, I do feel like Fun of Sun and Moon has some weird pacing, to say the least. All right, Dartrix is going for a full force move. Breakneck Blitz. Yo, I, I can eat this up, man. I'm sorry, but this is nothing. Look, oh my gosh, Dartrix looks awesome doing it, though. I got, I got to be honest. Look at that, man. 13 damage from a Z move. That is a terribly trained Dartrix. Absolutely terribly trained Dartrix. I know it was just tackle, guys, but come on. 13 damage, 13 damage from a Z move. So I don't even use Z moves, man. All you need is that Silk Scarf headbutt. 666 points. The Rotom experience, I believe, is still going on right now for this battle, which is great. So we actually got a good run. We did all the trainers in the previous route and we're getting our rival battle in. 
Uh, Pikachu, I'll switch out. Let's go out into, um... Let's go out into Nikki. Nikki's got magnitude now, so I should be able to do something against this Pikachu. Oh my gosh. Diglett has, I believe, the lowest HP stat. If not the lowest, the lowest, definitely one of the lowest. I just can't remember if it's the actual lowest. Quick attack gonna do nothing to me. I am a steel type. Magnitude 8! Look at that. Get it out of here! Get it out. It's a crit! It's a crit! There we go. Sharp grows to level 19. Walter grows to 21. Gilligan to 15. See, this team is just growing together. Noibat, of course, I'm gonna switch out now. Um, I'm gonna use Shark. <laughs> this is gonna be confusing for him. I'm gonna switch. Oh no, Kyrie's coming out. Okay. I was gonna say, though, Diglett will come out, but Kyrie was in the back, so we swapped from Kyrie to Diglett, so Kyrie went to the back. Now, let's go ahead. Oh, should we Z move it? Breakneck Blitz from a, from a fake. No, I don't even think it's worth it. I think if we just faint attack, that's our, that's our best bet. That bite, you you would have thought, you would have thought that's the right play, but it's not. Because this illusion is throwing you for a loop. Right, I'm gonna scratch you now. I guess it was a speed tie and I won the I won the second one. Nikki grows to level 16. Eevee's coming out. All right, you know what? Walter, I feel like you haven't battled in a full episode and that makes me a sad panda. So we're gonna send Walter out and go for that double kicking. Send this Eevee into the next dimension. I actually think that 4590, Firefang might be technically stronger. Uh, we're gonna double kick it though. I don't think it'll matter either way. I'm pretty sure this Eevee's going down to the ground. Oh yeah. Oh yes, most definitely. Sorry about that Eevee. Sorry, but I'm actually not sorry. Ki King grows level 18. Nice. Nope, you're not island. How'd you come up with that counter battle plan? You gotta tell me. Um, I clicked win and you clicked lose. So that's pretty simple. Man, that was some kind of battle. Dartrix and everybody all look like they had a blast too. You're supposed to be knocked out right now in your Pokeball. Right then, here, I'll share a bit of my good luck with you, Shady. What are you giving me? Dire hit. Critical hits. You know that how the Toad and Pokemon are all like surrounded by some aura of power? If you use a dire hit in your Pokemon, minus to land a critical hit, that aura won't mean a thing. You might want to try using some of those Rotom powers when you're fighting a Totem too. You know, Pokemon battles are just like sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But you're only really a loser if you don't have any fun while you're at it, right? Anyway, I'm heading off to Paniola Ranch. Okay, so you're going to Paniola Ranch. Rotom's effects wore off. Would you like to use another one? No, I'm going to save that. Thank you so much. Let's head to the PC. The Pokemon Center. Uh, let's let's snag a little Heelsies. Let's snag just a little bit of Heelsies. And, uh... We'll see what we can do next. The folks at Paniola Ranch made all those big ramps in the fields around the ranch to help their Pokemon build up strength and hind legs. You know sometimes you seem to be alone but you feel like someone's watching you? Do you think that's the Guardian watching? I think that's a Creeper watching, honestly. Baldy, what do you want? Peniola is a small town, all right. We get by because we share our work with our Pokemon and they design, decide to help us with it. What good Pokemon? Another Baldy, your twin, a oh boy. Do you have a heart scale handy? I'll pay you 5,000 if you have one. No, I'm not gonna sell you my heart scale. I feel like I need these. Sorry. Oh, he's gone. Was I supposed to sell him my heart scale? He's gone! Now I feel like I'm missing out on something. Now I feel like I messed up big time. If you clear her trial, you can ride on the back of a real Charizard. All right, there's that totem sticker. 18, we need two more before we can get that Raticate. Oh, look at the fur frow of yours. It weighs less than 110 pounds. Then it shouldn't take too much damage even if it's hit with a move like Grass Knot. It's great that you can check the weight of your Pokemon in the Poke- Whoa! Yo, yo, Vulpix, give me that bottle cap! Yeah, please stop! We just came from the other side. We totally just force jumped. What you looking at? What's this Pokemon need a nice bottle cap for? I'm just gonna put it to better use, that's all! You there, do you think you could help? Oh, I'll help you, alright. This is new. 
You want a piece of me? I'll show you what happens when you mess with Theme Skull. Yeah, this, this definitely did not happen. This did not happen prior, previously. Not at all. You're challenged by Team Skull Grunt. Mmm. Team Skull Grunt sends out Rattata. All right, Kyrie's coming out. Um, Kyrie, go ahead. Just do the dark. Watch this head, but just blow this thing back. I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm gonna go first before Rattata. Wow. And you're done. You don't even exist. You're you're you've been removed from this plane of existence thanks to Kyrie. Team Skull Grunts are so weak. They're just so pathetic. Ugh. Hey, yo, it's all your fault just because you wouldn't hand over that bottle cap. That's right. Yo, if they give me a Vulpix right now, I'm going to lose my mind. Yo, you got lucky, Vulpix. Don't count on people to help you next time. Why, wow, it worked out perfectly for it. Oh, thank goodness. Everything's going to be all right now. I'm sure I'm just going to get a bottle cap and not the Vulpix. Crew. Oh dear, what's wrong? Oh, it'd make this old lady happy if you'd come back tomorrow too. What? So you want me to come back tomorrow as well? Oh boy, that's no good. That's no good. Oh well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. Let's go ahead. Actually, no, we didn't check out the, um, we didn't check out the other, the other buildings and there might be more totem stickers in there. I don't want to, I don't want to miss out. What if there's a totem sticker behind the sign? There's not. Shoot. Okay. Can I go in here? I can't go in there. I can't go in there. Uh, oh, okay. I guess there's no other buildings going to. Did they change that? I thought there was, I thought there was other buildings to go into. They say that back in the days when there was nothing here, not even this town, the people in the Tauros used to roam in hordes. Wow. I guess this is the only building we can go in. That's weird. I really thought there was more in this town. Oh, I see a sticker. Gently peeled off the totem sticker. We got 19, one more, we can get that Raticate. I'm only gonna get the Raticate so that I can get the next totem Pokemon after that, honestly. Ah, that's funny. Magmar knows when to use Ember, Flamethrower, Fire Blast to get the strength of the fire just right. It's super helpful when I'm cooking. You know, that's actually true. I wonder if, if Pokemon were real, if there would be more practical uses for moves so you wouldn't just always delete your weak fire move for your strong fire move or, or your weak water move for your strong water move. Like, if you want a glass of water, which you shouldn't, shouldn't be drinking the water from Pokemon anyway, I'm pretty sure we learned they're bitter in the anime. Ew, there's sweat on that bed. You know what was going down there. That's not okay. That's not okay. Okay, we gotta go back in here, because there was a... I didn't, I didn't completely... I'm not completely blind. I did see that. I did see this sticker. We've collected 20 stickers. Professor Oak wants to talk to you. Oh, hello. Well, it's me, Samson Oak. I see you've collected some totem stickers. You should come by here, here, beach. All right, so he does want to give us that... Radicate. We'll make our way back there later on. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to tiddly wink my diddly wink, you know? I'm not trying to rummage my crummage. We're gonna go in advance and we will get back there eventually. You're waving. Everyone who works in the ranch loves a good Pokemon battle. Oh boy. Uh, does that mean that I want to use my, I think I want to use my Rotom power then. Let's do it. Let's use it up. I'll be at your service. If we're gonna be battling, uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Kyrie's been doing the most, don't get me wrong. But I'm gonna go ahead and put Nikki out front. I want Nikki to get some time to shine. Nikki's a tough Pokemon to get time to shine though, because obviously it's steel ground, so it has a good amount of weaknesses. It has very low HP, um, and it doesn't have the highest attack stats, so. It has a hard time Oko-ing, at least while it's a Diglett. Uh, we're gonna go ahead though, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna go for that Magnitude. It will be super effective in this Carbink, but Carbink's got base 150 defense, so I don't expect this to even be a 2 a KO, yeah. Okay. So the only way, woo, look at that. The only way we are going to go ahead and knock this thing out is if we get above a Magnitude 7. 
We got a Mag G7 again. So this is not going to be a knockout unless we get a high roll or a crit. And it looks like we did not. Carving special defense is also really high, right? I'm not imagining that. It's got base 150s on both sides. I'm almost positive. Full restore from this random trainer. What? All right. Well, now I feel bad for using Mud Slap. I only use Mud Slap. So I was like, oh, you got no HP left. Went down to a magnitude six. That does literally nothing. One magnitude less does that little. Smackdown is rock type, so it's not going to do too much on us. Despite this being one of the sharpest carvings I've ever seen in my life. Uh, let's see. Nope. Nope. All right. We might be able to go ahead. And we didn't even see a rock. That was kind of a lame animation. Is that how it always was? I thought it used to be like an actual rock. This isn't going to knock him out either. That's what I meant. This is what I meant by it's a hard, it's hard to give Diglett. It's hard to let Nikki shine. Nikki, you're going to go back in the back of the party now. I'm sorry, Nikki. I tried, Nikki. I really wanted people to see the best in you. I did. Unfortunately, though, it's impossible. It is impossible. Kyrie grows to level 19, and Madam Elizabeth has been diffeted. Uh, let's go ahead really quick. I wonder if the Roto experience is a time-based thing, or like if we have a longer battle, does that mean that it also goes away faster? If that's the case really quick, I'm actually gonna swap. I'm gonna put Walter out front again. I really want to take advantage of this experience. So when we come into those tough, like look at how far down that bar is now. Oh my gosh, it drops right now too. Oh my gosh, that stinks. That stinks, I wasted this then. It's still dropping right now. So if you have longer battles, it, it, it goes away. The experience buff does not stop for anything. Oh my gosh, I gotta read all this too. So I can't speed through it, that sucks. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Uh, the Moomoo milk from Paniola Ranch is the best. It's so rich and creamy when you use it in white sauce and other things. Mm, the taste can't even be described. Oh, by the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do you a little favor. I'm going a little fast. Stoutland, we got a Stoutland. Because I want to use this experience. See, Stoutland can sniff out items for you. They're even better in the dirt when you can't even see them. When you're riding Stoutland, press B to use the Stoutland search. That's what it's all about. Get up there and try it. There's all kinds of things lying around waiting for you to find it. And Stoutland will bark louder and louder the closer it gets to some buried items in the ground. If you go all the way down around five, you'll come out of Brooklyn Hill. My, my friend Lana is up there, so say hi to her if you see her. Lana is a, is a trial captain. So you want us to go to Route 5. I understand. Okay, we need to find people to battle right now. Where's our battle? Where, where's everyone that wants to battle? We're skipping this ranch for now because I want to get the most out of this road time experience. I'm already missing out on so much. We got a Moo Moo. We got a little Moo Moo. She, road time has never seen this Pokemon before. Uh, I'll go ahead and body it because it should give us a decent amount of experience because it's a Moo Moo. Mill Tank. Uh, oh, it's not even going to be a 1A KO. Wow. Wow. I'm impressed with you, Moo Moo. I'm impressed with you. Oh, I'm really upset that I used my Rotom experience. I'm really upset that I wasted that. It feels super bad, man. Do not make the same mistake as me. Ladies and gentlemen that are watching this, do not waste your Roto experience. Like, I just want to use Gilligan. Gilligan knows wing attack now? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I'm keeping Absorb. For those Swamperts that come through, I'm keeping Absorb. There's no way you're going to catch me getting rid of it. Nikki Gross, level 17. So look at that. We gained some levels off of that Moo Moo. Look at how low our bar is. Battle me, man. I am raising Pokemon. That's why we're battling each other, you fool. You absolute convoluted fool. Mudbray. Mudbray is ground type, I believe. Is it just ground? Huh. I'm gonna go Fire Fang no matter what. No matter what you want to do to me. Look at that. Bulldoze. Oh boy. That is a large amount of damage on Walter. Oh my goodness. And my speed falls. Are you really gonna be faster than me now? There's no way. I was gonna say, I am a stage one, gosh darn it, and I am six levels above you. You are not gonna take me out that quickly. Unfortunately, we didn't actually um didn't gain a level from that. 
Why do all these guys only have one Pokemon? Give me more, give me more. What's the point of Paralyze Heal? Well, no, there is a point. Ah! I was gonna say, what's the point of Paralyze Heal? Because you can just care for your Pokemon refresh. But ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, let's run. This thing is not offering me any experience. None whatsoever. None. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I see a sticker. I have to grab it. I have to grab it. Ooh, don't run into any Pokemon. Thank you. We peeled off the totem sticker. We got 21 stickers. Maybe it's every 20 stickers we're going to go ahead and get a totem Pokemon. Totem Lurantis I will want to use. Oh, Sudowoodo are blocking the way. Sudowoodo. Huh. And we're pretty much going to be done. Okay, yep. You're, you're all about the nursery. That's fine. I need to battle this old man who's leaning forward. Battle me while we still have some experience bar left. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Sableye is here. Sableye is now. Let's see, let's see. Let's go for that fire fang. We miss! Both of us miss! Wow. Doesn't matter. Watch the flinch. Watch the flinch. There's the burn. Watch the flinch burn. Nothing. Nightshade. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we're good. We're living. I'm gonna go for the ember this time so that I don't miss. Hopefully the Sableye does not have Shadow Sneak. I feel like Sableye should give us a good amount of experience. Don't you guys think? 423. Talk about good experience. Talk about good experience. King grows to 19. King wants to learn Confuse Ray. We're, we are going to learn Confuse Ray. We'll get rid of uh, Curtamine. Mean look. I kind of want to keep Hypnosis. Just for catching Pokemon. Just just for some Pokemon events, I'm sure it'll be hard. I'm going to have to status them. Maybe like the Tapus. But then again, I'll, I'll have a team of actual monster hunting Pokemon. We got the Amulet Coin. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I'm not wasting any time with money. Because seeing those expensive clothes... Um, I know what I know. And I know that... Listen, Walter, what do you have right now? You're getting rid of the Quick Claw, I'm sorry. You're done. Because you're going to be battling all the time, and I want you to make us that money. Battle me. We have a tiny bit of... We have a tiny bit of bar left of this experience. Get us up high enough so the next trial is a breeze. Like a nice, warm Alolan breeze. That's what we're going for. The warmest of Alolan breezes. Okay, here we go. I could have I could have went for that double kick. I probably should have went for that double kick. Fire Fang? Never mind! Walter! How many more Pokemon do you have? Magnemite? I'm staying in. I'm staying in. I got an Ember. I got an Ember. Don't have Sturdy. Do not have Sturdy. If you have Sturdy, I'm fighting your grandfather. Right on the street. Right in the front. Right in front of your grandmother. Ah! Where's Grandpa? Thunderweave! Pro Strats feels bad, man. Pro Strats feels bad, man. All right, let's go for the Ember anyway. Oh, I'm silly. I should have gone for Double Kick. Thanks to the new Gen 7 Paralyzed mechanics, though, I am still faster than you. Uh, I'm not going to care for you. I'm not caring for you right now. Gilligan grows level 17, so Gilligan is getting ready to be used. Once Gilligan hits 20, it's over, man. He's getting the Amulet Coin. He's getting used nonstop. Battle me. You'll find Brooklet Hill at the end of Route 5. That's where Captain Lana does her trial. Like Lana, like Lana Lang. I'm one of the trial guides here to help you. Okay, so you want me to beat all trainers. Now this would have been, oh no, 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 no. Come on, I'm running out of time. This would have been a great place to use uh, the Roto experience. These are the routes you want to use them on, guys. Not what I did. I'm probably out of it now, aren't I? Nope, I can get, I can start this battle. I started this battle before it ended. Look at that. Look at how little, tiny, tiny that bar is. We're having a double battle right now. Double the experience. Two for the price of one. Ladies. Cottony and Petalil. I'm actually having a lot of fun playing this game. I really am. I'm super glad I, I, I committed to doing this LP. 
and hopefully you guys are enjoying it too whether you're watching it here on youtube or here on twitch i don't know which here is the right here but i'm adhering to something all right we can we can just this is like oh i thought it was actually i thought it was actually my um Kyrie and i thought Kyrie and walter were literally hanging out but unfortunately that's not the case And of course, that that level, um, the level gap matters for for raising your Pokemon. You gain more experience the smaller the gap is. Uh, that's the way they did it in Gen Seven. Very different than the usual. So, uh, Walter is gaining less experience than Sharp, than Sharp the Zorua. Had a little dress like a bunch of leaves in the fall. Come on, anyone leveling up? Nikki grows level 18. There we go, Nikki. Nikki wants to learn Bulldoze. I will take it. Get rid of Mud Slap faster than you could say. What? Wait, what does Mud Slap do? Faster than you could say that. It's gone. Out of here. Done. I'm too young for math. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I'm just too young for math. You probably shouldn't be battling then. Oh. Oh, okay. We have time. We're going to do this. We're going to make this a 40 minute episode. Ha <laughs> man. I lost. I lost again. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Are you even taking this seriously? I am so seriously. I'm seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it? <laughs> you can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it, which clearly you haven't. Whoa, hey, Shady. This guy's plenty scary. <laughs> You're Shady? Yeah, that's me. Uh, not very cautious. Even some Pokemon have a better sense of self-preservation than you apparently do. I'm Gladian. Me and my partner Type Null are training to get stronger. We have to get stronger. Though most of our time these days goes to working for Team Skull as their muscle. Ugh. Battle me. I won't take no for an answer. Well, I actually didn't expect to battle you, but you know what? Edgy. Edgy. There he is. Look at how edgy Gladian is. Team Skull Gladian with the Zubat. You know how you should have you should have healed our Pokemon for us before before all of this happened. Remember back in the day when Sun and Moon first came out, we all thought that these guys would be based off, like, they would end up being Ultra Beasts. I miss those days. I really do. Zubat? Oh! Oh, you pulled a me! You pulling me! You try to pull me? Ain't nobody pulling me like I pull me. Ain't nobody pulling me like I pull me. I have missed your theme, Gladian. I have missed it. Walter grows to level 23. I don't remember the message popping up about um, us running out of experience points, like the boosted experience. Uh, but I'm guessing we have. I, but then I, I might have missed the, the, let me see. It's a crit. Walter, get, yeah, no more boosted. No more boosted. Okay. That would have been great. Tight Null is actually coming out. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna stay with Walter then. Type Null is super duper strong. I don't remember battling his Type Null this early. Did we actually battle his Type Null this early in the old game? Yeah, I knew this wouldn't be a one hit KO. Hardly a two hit KO. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna go for Fire Fang because I could potentially burn or flinch. And does only a little bit less than Double Kick. Unfortunately, we don't burn or flinch, but we're gonna go ahead and go for the double kick this time. It is 100% accurate. So we will take out Gladian and his final Pokemon. Yeah, I don't have a sense of self-preservation. Are you kidding me? I knew you were a chump. You're a joke. Look at those blonde bangs. Dr. Disrespect would be ashamed to even be in the same room as you. Oh! How annoying. How annoying indeed. <laughs> what was that sound? <sighs> it's not like me to slip up like that. I've got to keep fighting stronger opponents. Looks like I'm still not ready. Huh? What? That kid there, his Pokemon aren't weak. And sure, it's fine to enjoy battling, but this brat, he's just using that as an excuse not to try hard because he can't beat the Kahuna. Because he can't beat Hollow when he's serious. You know my gramps. Wait, so you think I'm strong? Oh, look at you, little Gladian. Aren't you just a real cool guy? <laughs> Here we go. I guess it's no surprise a homeless kid would turn out spineless too, huh? No worries, we've got enough backbone to cover for you. 
I don't have to battle him too. Just give it up already. Huh? You know you can't beat me. You'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. They're good Pokemon. We came all this way and for what? For a big fat waste of our time thanks to you. If you hadn't gotten in our way, we could have stolen the totem Pokemon from Brooklyn Hill. Let's get out of here. Look, the Murkrow are crying and it's time we should be flying. Listen up good, Gladi, and the boss does like you. That's true. But you're just some hired help we keep around for when we need you. You aren't part of Team Skull, not really. And you never will be. Got it? You better get it. Why are they so mean to Gladian? What did he do to you? You're scum, you know that? You're actual scum. You guys are scum. Thanks, Shady, and Toracat too. You both gave it your all. Phew, looks like I've got to train up my team if I'm gonna take on the trial at Brooklyn Hill next. Here, Shady, take these with you. We're gonna beat this island challenge. We got three revives. We already know that we saw that I actually need to use these revives. All right, so there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wrap this one up here. We'll start out the next episode. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. That gliding's kind of scary. You think, you think? We're gonna wrap this one up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to show some shady love to that thumbs up down below. We're back again real soon with the next episode. Have yourselves a fantastic day, but above all else, keep it shady. <laughs>